When my sinus is hurt, I feel a lot of pressure on the ears on both sides of my nose. My nose is stuck clogging, my eyes itchy. My head is just killing me on the sides and I'm cranky. I feel awful, I have terrible pain in my face. Allison Blazer's sinus pain has brought her to the allergist. She's looking for a remedy that will give her some relief. An antibiotic may seem like a smart choice. Millions of people ask their doctor to prescribe one for sinusitis, and doctors frequently do. But Dr. Clifford Bassett says antibiotics are not usually a good idea. Many sinus infections are actually caused by viruses. Viral infections are not treated successfully with antibiotics. They don't work. And side effects from antibiotics affect about a quarter of the people who take them, including stomach problems, dizziness, or rashes. Severe allergic reactions can occur in rare cases, too. Let's take a look over here. And there's another concern. Overuse of antibiotics leads to infections that are hard to control with drugs. If you need a drug for an infection and it's, the bacteria is resistant to that antibiotic or drug, that's a problem. Your nose looks very good today. For most who suffer from sinusitis, the symptoms will ease up on their own in about a week. But Consumer Reports says there are several ways to speed up the process. It's especially important to rest when your body is fighting a virus. So use common sense. Slow down, drink plenty of fluids, and try elevating your head when you lie down. A saltwater gargle makes some people feel better. And steam can be soothing too. Try running a hot bath or shower. And when used properly, a solution that irrigates the sinus passages might help too. Be sure to use distilled water. And be cautious about over-the-counter drugs. Pseudoephedrine pills can ease stuffiness, but check with your doctor first because they can have serious side effects. Nasal drops or sprays that contain oxymetazoline can make the congestion worse if they're used for more than three days. If you do have sinus symptoms that just won't quit, Talk to your doctor about when an antibiotic might be needed. Fever, tenderness of the face, a change in color of the mucus, headache, all of these symptoms go along with possible bacterial infection that may require an antibiotic. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. But for this patient, as for most sinus pain sufferers, antibiotics are not needed. Learn more at consumerhealthchoices.org.